Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga and today a seated practice. Just a gentle seated practice that we're not going to have to move a whole lot, but we're going to get a whole lot done. So doing our best head to toe, um, getting those stretches in as quickly and efficiently as we possibly can so you can get on with the rest of your day. Thanks for being here, my friends. Taking a moment, coming to butterfly, soles of the feet come together. We're going to pull those heels in just as close as feels good to you, taking a hold anywhere along the shins you like. You don't have to have those feet as close in as they'll come, just some place that feels right to you. You're welcome to sit up on a bolster or up on a block and let those knees just open. Close your eyes. Take a moment, not a death grip on those shins or the ankles, but just a gentle hold. Feel the length in your spine. Go ahead and get rid of the wiggles. Adjust how you need to and find a place that feels amazing. Maybe it's not amazing just yet, but it feels pretty darn good. We can soften our eyes. We can focus on our breath. We can let go of tension and tightness. On your next inhale, press your chest forward, arch your back, lift your gaze up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, hollow your tummy and chest, press your spine towards the back, tuck your chin. Inhale, press it through, arch your back, lift your gaze. And exhale, hollow. Let's do one more of each. If you need a couple more, yeah, you're welcome to take the time to do that. And then just join us again when you're ready. Any time that you feel like you need a little extra time, please feel free. Last one. Hollow the tummy and chest. Press your spine towards the back. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Release your hands and slide your feet forward. We're just going to round it over. Let your hands come wherever it feels good to you. Let your upper body be heavy. And just breathe. If it feels good to you, extend your arms out. Reaching out is going to deepen the stretch in the hips, the groin, the lower back, the shoulders. Just make sure your body's ready for it. Now go ahead and extend those arms open out to a T and come up to the pads of the fingers. Spread your fingers wide and as you exhale, press the pads of the fingers into the floor as you lift your spine and tuck your chin, creating space between those shoulder blades. And then gently release it back down. Bringing the hands back to just along the feet and ever so slowly begin to roll it up one vertebra at a time. Starting at your tailbone, stacking each vertebra until you sit up nice and tall. Let's turn the length of the mat. And we're going to open up those feet about the width of the mat. We're going to lean back onto those hands. Hands can be in whatever position feels good to you. I just want you to lift your chest as best you can. Core staying strong and just rock those knees side to side. Take a moment and just see range of motion. Can you get those knees all the way down? If you're like, mm, nope, not quite. It's okay. Noticing if there's any little hitches as you rotate. If there's anything uncomfortable beyond just a good stretch. Let's do one more and come back to center. Extend that left leg out. Cross your right foot up and over the left. Add a flex of that left foot. Wrap the crook of the left elbow around the knee and sit up as tall as you can sit. Pulling that knee in. That feels so good. Outer hip, lower back. Extend right arm out. Lift it high. Circle it all the way around behind you. Place your hand to the mat. Sit tall. And turn and take your gaze out over that back shoulder. A little tuck of your chin down towards your chest or your collarbone. Now we're using that right elbow to gently pull in. It can be your hand. It can be your forearm, your elbow. Just whatever feels okay to you. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Circling that right arm back, up and over. Turn back to face front and allow that right knee to open out to a figure four. So that right ankle is going to stay just above the knee. If that is uncomfortable for you, pressing too much on the knee, shift that foot to the inner thigh. Otherwise, keep that ankle crossed. 
and breathe. Bringing the hands behind you. Fingertips are pointed towards your bottom. Lean back onto those hands and lift your chest. Draw those shoulder blades towards one another. Stretching the forearms, mm, the wrists, opening up the chest. Core strong, gently release it back down. If that foot's to the inner thigh, cross it once again, and we're going to pull that left foot in. You can adjust your hands. Make sure that you still have a neck, that your shoulders haven't eaten your neck. Pressing those hands down and away, lifting the crown of the head to the sky, getting into that right hip. Breathe. Feels good to you. Lift your bottom, slide it forward towards your heel, and then walk those hands in. If that all of a sudden you lose your neck or your bottom is hovering up off the floor, back it off just a little bit. Just find that deep stretch that feels good to you. Be nice. Be kind, be mindful. We're going to lift and slide it back just a little bit, extending that leg out once again. Now let's bring that foot to the inner thigh. We're going to turn to the side just slightly. So we're kind of looking right out over the shin. Inhale, reach it up. Cross that left hand over to the right knee. Right arm reaches up and over. Inhale it back up, release that right hand behind you, left arm to the sky, point your left toes, lift those hips and arch it back. Mm, that feels good. You don't have to lift the bottom, you can always just keep your bottom down and gently release it back down. We're gonna turn and reach to the sky, turning towards that left leg, hinge it forward, reach it out. If you need to adjust where that right foot is, please do. Working to center your tummy and chest onto that left leg. Mm, that feels pretty good. Go ahead and point your right or left toes and just feel that stretch down the front through the ankle and the foot. And then again, flexing that left foot, feeling that stretch deeper down the back of the leg. And let's slowly walk those hands back up. We extend our right leg. Left foot crosses up and over. Wrapping the crook of that right elbow around the knee, sit up nice and tall and turn and take your gaze out over your back shoulder. Really be mindful on that length of the spine. If we hollow out the tummy and the chest and we sink into that spine, we can kind of put really a lot of pressure on those vertebrae stacking them. When we stack them, we want to put space between them. Extending left arm out, circle it up, around behind, place that left hand behind you. Use it to prop yourself up to sit up even taller. And then take your gaze out over your left shoulder and tuck your chin down towards your chest. We're doing our best to draw that left knee in, to rotate through the torso, massaging those internal organs, creating flexibility and range of motion for the spine. Keeping that spine flexible, happy. Those discs, ah, happy and healthy. Reaching that left arm back, circle it all the way back up and over. We turn and release that rotation and allow that left knee to open out to the side. Now that left ankle can be just above the knee. If that's not right for you, go ahead and slide that uh, left sole of the foot to the inner thigh. Otherwise, leg is crossed and we sit tall. That right foot is flexed. Breathe. Bringing the hands behind you. Sitting up nice and tall. Go ahead and cross that right or that left ankle over the right knee and lean back, pulling that right foot in. Hands can be wherever you like and sit tall. Again, making sure that you still have a neck. Shoulders are down and away. Just feeling that nice stretch, that figure four in that left hip. If you like, lift your bottom, slide it forward, and walk your feet in, or walk your feet in, walk your hands in. Breathe your feet are already in. If you need to adjust, maybe there's not quite as much flexibility on this side, it's okay, back off. 
we're being mindful that we've got the ankle just to the outside of the leg. If by chance the foot is really kind of to the top of your foot and you start to sickle that ankle, that can put a lot of pressure in the ankle. Those tendons along the outside of the ankle, we want to keep our foot safe and happy. Go ahead and back it off and go ahead and slide that leg out. We're going to transition that left foot to the inside. We're going to turn slightly, so go ahead and open up that pelvis a little bit, reaching that right hand over to the left knee. Left arm comes up and over, reaching out to the side. Long, beautiful stretch down that left side of the body. Mm, from the fingertips all the way to the tip of the hip. Inhaling it up, releasing that left hand behind you. Go ahead and point those right toes, left or right arm to the sky. Lifting those hips if it feels right. Otherwise, keep your bottom down and arch it back. Reaching through those right fingertips. Long stretch all the way down that right side. That feels so good. A variation of our wild thing. And slowly bring your bottom back down. We circle that right arm up and overhead, turning towards that right leg, hinge it forward, reach it out. If you need to adjust where that left foot is along the inner thigh, a do, and then slowly release it down. Tummy and chest working to center right over that right leg. Let's go ahead and point the foot and feel that good stretch all through the top of the foot, through the shin and the ankle. And then when you're ready, go ahead and flex your foot. Feel that transition to the back of the leg. And slowly walk your hands back up. Extend both legs out nice and long. Flex your feet. Reach it high. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Reach it out. Release your hands. Relax the weight of the upper body down. How's that lower back? How are the glutes? How are the hamstrings and the calves? If the back of the body is feeling pretty darn tight, oftentimes it's starting in the hamstrings and working its way up and out. So focus your breath into those hamstrings, into that lower back. And you'll reach it out, sit up nice and tall. Release your hands down by your sides. Let's turn and come to easy pose. Crisscrossing those legs. Doesn't matter which leg is in front. Bringing those hands down by your sides. Press the palms down towards the floor and bring your chin down towards your chest. Roll the head to the right. Right ear over the right shoulder. A little press of that left palm down towards the ground. Close your eyes. Relax your jaw. Rolling the chin down towards your chest and then over to the left, left ear over the left shoulder, pressing that right palm down towards the ground. Releasing chin back down towards your chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall, reach it high and exhale, pull those elbows back and down, open up the chest. Oh, squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, reach it high, and as you exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Release your hands. Relax the weight of the upper body down. Checking in with those knees, with the hips, with the groin, with the lower back. This little series of stretches are oh, so good for my back to keep it feeling happy, limber, strong. Lifting just slightly, walking your hands to the right. Reach to your left fingertips just as far as you can reach. Now circle that left arm up and over, opening the tummy and chest. You are welcome to stay up on your hand or come over onto your forearm. A little roll of that left shoulder back. Turn your gaze up and feel that long stretch through the ribs into the waist. Inhale, reach it high. Both arms come up. As you exhale, cactus arms, pull those elbows back and down. Inhale, reach it high. And as you exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward, core strong. Release your hands. Relax the weight of the upper body. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands to the left. Reach to your right fingertips just as far as you can reach. And we circle that right arm up and over, opening up the tummy and chest. 
Again, you can stay on that left palm or you can come down onto your forearm. Just make sure that right sit bone stays glued to the mat. Rolling that right shoulder back. Oh my goodness, so good. Breathe. Inhale, both arms come up, reach it high. Exhale, open those arms out to a T, flex your wrists, hollow your tummy and chest, press your palms forward, spine back, chin down. Inhale it open and reach and gently let those arms just float down by your sides. Rock it back and switch so the other leg is in front. We always have one leg that we kind of prefer to be in front. We're going to try and get to the point where you can hardly even tell the difference. Pressing your palms down towards the ground, a little tuck of your chin down towards your chest. So as you sit here, does it feel any different? If you're like, actually, it feels pretty good. That is fantastic. Rolling the head to the left, left ear over the left shoulder. Mm, just a nice long stretch all the way down that right side of the neck, releasing your chin down. And then over to the right, right ear over the right shoulder, pressing that left palm down towards the ground. Working to improve imbalances and to improve our balance but really working to improve those imbalances in our bodies where we have that preference right to left, left to right, chin back down towards the chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall, reach it high. Exhale, cactus arms, pull those elbows back and down. Inhale, reach it high, and as you exhale, release that left hand down, right arm up and over. Give a little push with that left hand, lift the right side of the rib cage, roll that right shoulder back and take your gaze a little bit higher. Circle that right arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back, and turn your gaze down towards the ground. Little tuck of your chin towards your collarbone. Right arm circles back up and over. And we rise. Both arms reach high. Exhale, cactus arms. Pull those elbows back and down. Inhale, reach it high and release that right hand down, left arm up and over. Give a little push with that right hand, lifting the left side of the rib cage, rolling that shoulder back. Take the gaze towards the sky. Breathe. Circling that left arm around behind the back, forearm along the small of the back, and turn your gaze down towards the ground. A little tuck of your chin towards your collarbone. Circling that left arm back up and over. And inhale, reach it high, both arms overhead. Exhale, arms open out to a T, flex your wrists, hollow your tummy and chest, press your palms forward, spine back, chin down. Inhale it open and reach, pull those hands to heart center, take a moment to close your eyes. Relax your shoulders, sit tall. With the eyes closed, sitting tall, hands resting at heart center, we check in. We take a moment to thank the mind and the body for being able to take this time to help us be the best we can be in every area, mind, body, and spirit. Gently open your eyes. My friend, thank you for being here today. Thank you for taking time to spend on yourself for a little self-care and for doing it with me. I appreciate that more than you know because I know there's a ton of choices out there. Be well, take care of yourself, and until the next time, light, love, and namaste.